Too hyped, Roach. Horse hype. There we go. That's it, Roach. Me. Can we talk? Aye. Long as it's short and to the point, because I don't wag me tongue for jollies. They call me Radko. I arrange the yeah, I guess. races here. You must have heard talk. Wanna try? Say the word. Don't sod off. Sign me up, Chief. Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. Long as you're there, sign it. And bring gold for the betting. Ah, oh, finally here. <laughs> Rules are simple. Choose who you're going to run against, make your wager, then ride to Black Bow and back. First the winner, second the bleeding cunt. <laughs> Got it? Wow. So, who are you going to race? Stuttering m, -m, -m Matko, Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? I feel like stuttering, right? Bet amount. Yeah, let's go I'll with the take default. stuttering mad. Yeah, 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 you'll sit... Say, I'll, 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 ah, fuck it. Come on, let's set the wager. Racing. <laughs> he couldn't even trash talk. He's like, eh. Oh, come on now. Faster. Crap. No, I'm staying here. <laughs> ah. Uh, yeah. uh. I hate these things because the tracks don't they don't tell you about the tracks fast. You seem to know orchards as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again, grab Rogan, so bad. Our fail, really? So bad? Who else is racing? Gee, I, I'm looking around. Who just won? I, I think. Oh, that's right. It's me. That's right. I won some crowns. I beat s -s 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 stuttering Matt. And I got a ra I got a racing saddle? Nice. Got a racing saddle. What's the racing saddle do? 40 stamina <gasps> as compared to 25 stamina. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna get wicked. Yeah. Despite what Rogan said, I won anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a one anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, I ran into a wall with my horse. Here's what matters, Rogan. Did I beat Stuttering Matt or not? The answer so is I did. It be? Gonna race or not? Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. Long as you're here, come this sunset. Signing. And bring gold for the betting. It's sunset. Good day, grey one. So, who are you gonna race? Stuttering m, -M, -M Matko, Iron Arse Hans, or Black Bogdan? How about Iron Arse Hans? Same bet amount. See how that iron ass holds up. Come on, hands. Hands. Spent half my life on horseback. Other half Look on Look at all the tats. Ponies. You can't beat me. My God, it's Come like. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. He's facing a badass. Go! 
Screw that up. Again, nice, a victory. Nice. You seem to know horses as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. No, he ran out of. It, no, he ran out of stamina. I went the wrong way. He ran out of stamina. That's the problem. Saddlebags. Okay. That's what happens. He ran out of stamina, man. Nice. These would normally be expensive. 30 maximum inventory weight. Yes. I love it. Let's help him out my horse, too. He ran his stamina. Alright. Now we've got the black whatever so the what guy is. Gonna race or not? Who's the guy? Wanna sign up. Don't need no signing. Black Rogan? Black something? Here, come sunset and bring gold for the betting. Yeah, I brought gold for the betting. Good day, grey one. So, who are you going to race? Black Bogdan. Alright, Black Bogdan. Hands, or Black Bogdan. Black Bogdan it is. Same right bet. Against Black Bogdan this time. Take you for a ride, alright. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. No tattoos this time? Come on, Roach. Oh, he's trash talking my Witcher status, huh? Interesting. Also, I gotta go get the other quest. This time I went the right way. Whoops! Almost didn't. Yeah, Roach. Ha-ha! <laughs> nice, nice. You seem to know all the yeah. you do, monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. Oh, yeah. Crowns times 50. Crowns times 40. Horse blinders. Yeah, all the upgrades for my horses, man. Ah! I love that. I gotta get that involved somehow. Like, for like, uh, when I get a sub alert, that'd be awesome. Ah! A horse equipped with blinders won't panic as easily. 20 of the horse's fear level. Yeah. I have upgraded my horse big time. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. All right. Uh, Gwent Vellum players. Alright, let's get some of these question marks done. And there was a quest up there that I had to pick up, too. So, let's see. Hunting a witch. Yeah. So, we're gonna go with... Hunting a witch is going to be... Actually, wait a second. Hmm. Okay. I'll keep that on there for now. You're rather right. Okay. I'll keep that for now. But, um, 
before I do any of that, I'm going to hit up some of these question marks. So I'm going to go here and pick up that quest. And then I'm going to hit up some of these question marks. So we're going to get some of these here. So here and then these. And actually, Black Bow. Oh, that's a blacksmith. Oh, wait, I need to do that. So here, Black Bow, and then question mark. That's what we're doing. These races were easy, man. Races were cake. But just because of his, I mean, like, just because of his increased stamina. I mean, his stamina just made it that, like, you know. And my, obviously, you know, superior racing skill. Right? Who's with me? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Racing skill. My ability to recover even... All I was doing was baiting the guy. It's just like in Gwent. Like, I went right when I supposedly meant to go left. And that was just, you know... That was just, I was just baiting him. Help an old feeble woman. What's wrong? To their night blasphemers, pox take and profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Her cows will croak, and kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. Warts and mange? Sounds dangerous. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll help you. I love his sarcasm. Sounds dangerous. Wow. Attractive. Done. You kidding me? Good gods have sent ye to me. Someone to repair their shrines from this day on. That was the quest? Look, already got a trade. I'm a witcher. Restoring traditional roadside structures in wood? Just not my specialty. Fight evil. That's a witcher's calling. And vandals are worse than beasts. Fine. I see any damaged shrines. I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts. And the gods will guide you. Defender of the Faith. Fix all the damaged shrines. All right, what other diamond shrines are there? Exactly. We got one there. Okay, those are the two damaged shrines. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go to black... That'll actually work perfectly. I'm going to go to black bow. Then I'm going to hit question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Hit that notice board. Question mark, and then shrine and shrine. So that'll be fine. What's up, Floridan? Witcher 3, Canterbury Tales Edition. <laughs> okay, let's go get us a better sword, people. Let us go get us a better sword. That's it, Roach. Good job, by the way, Roach. Way to win that one. I like it. Okay. Now, what I need is not a merchant. What I need is right up here. Hello, dog. Ooh, is that... There's, a, like, a battle thing going on there that I think I can get as a quest. However, first of all, first things first, blacksmith. Oh, come on, wake up, blacksmith. Really? All right, fine. Go engage in some fisticuffs and then meditate. Really, yeah. Well, you don't mean like a week, like, real-time week. You mean like a week in-game? Yeah, I mean, you know. Normally I don't fast travel except after I've found some stuff. Announcement by order of the commander of the Nifgardian Army Group Center Camp. Residents of the villages of Midcops and Blackbow are hereby required to report to the camp near Midcops in order to perform labor for the Empire. Those caught evading, their duties shall be flogged. Lists of designated residents and their assigned days of service have been provided to the village elderman. I didn't do nothing. Yeah. Not 
Will you join the tournament? Hey, a bit of honest fist fighting to clear the lungs and bowels. Night, Rogan. I to warn you. <laughs> Jordan can be fierce. Likes to bite. Get me? So, what'll it be? Kind of fighting. What are the rules? We mostly use fists, but no one looks askance at a straight kick to the stones. Defeat Jonah, then Smithy, and stand fish gulper, and you learn the right to face the sun. It's reminding me of fighting, um, champion. the fighting the Mandalorians, you know, in uh, Knights of the Republic 2. A week real time? I don't know. That stuff, I hear that stuff all the time. I'm not sure. It depends on what they mean. Like, traverse up and down and up and down. A week of real time is a lot of time. So, I don't know. I've heard, like, crazy claims like that before from other games. I don't know. Let's do it. All right. Let's see just how fierce Jonah is. Feast your eyes on an epic clash between Jonah and the Drifter. Why is Jonah looking at him like, you're not a big deal? Like, with my swords and everything? Oh, ha, ha. Well, bam. Have a seat, Jonah. Drifters defeated Jonah. Could this be a new champion of Velen in the making? Who can tell? You have still Smithy from the Inn at the Crossroads to defeat, then Fishculper from Lindenville. I'll leave you to guess what he does. I catch something. All right. One fucked up face. Good eye. Good day. Nice. All right. That worked out. All right. Let's do some meditation, shall we? Meditating time. Let's meditate. Actually, wait a second. Yeah, level six, I get to unlock a new slot. Cool. Right, sniper? Blam! I know, I love it. Let's meditate. Till 9 a.m. I assume he works 9 to 5. I was just like right there the whole time. Blacksmith, are you... Come on, man. Is the blacksmith awake? Oh, there you are. What's up, bro? Craft special order weapons, too. Do politicians murder high-class prostitutes? Of course. What kind of a light is that? Oh, interesting, Burner. Oh, God. It, they is Gwent, too. Uh. I'll take a look. Maybe pick something. Okay. I'm going to sell some stuff, too. I don't need an enhanced saddle anymore. Because I got something better. Second map. I like that. Disclare. Ooh. Velen Longsword. I like it. Um. Silver Sword. Nice. I have a Gvenil, but... Alright, so I may be able to get that right there. Because I have one of those, but a level 13. So, let me see what the Disc Lair does. Here we go. Components missing. What do I need? Silver Ingot? Okay. I thought I had some silver ingot. I need silver ore. Okay. 
So let's see, silver ingot. So I need silver, okay. All right, I need some silver. Do you have any silver, sir? You do have silver, excellent. I need three, please. Awesome. Now, where were we? Silver ingot. There we go. Awesome. Serpentine silver sword. Ooh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Can't use that. Level 12, level 13. Look at that. Serpentine silver sword. Viper silver sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. I got you. Sorry, Burner. That is a good question. Okay. Serpentine silver sword. Nice. It's definitely better than what I have. Craft it. So long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like that might be useful. I like the look of it, too. Oh, and it's got a slot. Nice. Okay. 81 to 99, 112 to 138. Yes, please. Nice. Silver sword. And this I can put on here to improve its statistics. 112 to 138 plus zero attack power. What does that do to having a plus zero attack power? Does it do anything? It's just a random, like, rune sword? I don't know. I still continue to feel weird about selling my original swords. See, that right there is what I'm going to use, but I can't use it until I'm level 13, so... In the meantime, though, that's good. I needed a weapon. More locations marked where the cats had picked a ground than we had suspected. It each remains identical to the ones we found in the caverns that are Temple Isle and Novigrad. Mark their locations on this map. Aldebert Kermuth, adjunct of Natural History of the Oxenford Academy. Okay, cool. Take a look at those quests. 17. Part 3. Part 2. That's interesting. 23, 29. Yeah. It's just so well put together. I just love it. There's so much cool stuff to do, and it doesn't it's not tedious. And okay, hunting a witch is probably gonna be next, but um okay, actually, no, 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 no. That's right. I want to defend the faith. The reason I want to do that is because I'm going to be going south and I'm going to be doing it anyway. You have to have the... Oh, really? Interesting. Are you playing on uh, Xbox, Burner? You're playing on Xbox, right? Not on not on PS4? Is it out for PS3? Is it only out for uh, Xbox and PS4? So let's see. We're going to hit that question mark, that one, that one, that one. Notice board. That one. And then... Although that might actually be... Anyway, we'll see. And then this, and this. You're on PS4. I wonder about when they do patches for the consoles. That'll be interesting. Okay. It's surprising, though, how many games actually they still have that are running on um, PS3. How am I doing on money, by the way? 394 gold. Like, I just heard about a relatively new game, although I can't remember the name of it, that um, they released a PS3 version for, too. So. And this be the Witchman, the freak of nature. <laughs> more interesting things from my nose. Waiting for a special invitation, Roach? Let me talk to the merchant first. Buy in or just peruse him. Show me what you've got on offer. How about Kermit's first map? 
Wow, that's all you got? Okay. So long. Oh, actually, I may already have had part two, part three. I haven't read it yet. Damn it. While conducting studies, achievement unlocked. Bookworm! I got some uh, Steam achievement just now. While conducting studies under the guidance of Professor Slavko Adamstein, Adamstein, I happened across four places where carved engravings portraying the sign of the Cat School of Witches could be found. All these pictograms are identical to that which we discovered in the caverns beneath the Temple Island Novigrad. I've marked them on this map, at Elbert Kermuth, adjunct to natural history at the Oxford Academy. Okay, so now I have all the clues. Right, level 17. Actually, no, 23. What? 23, 23, 29, but suggested level 17? Because this is what I want, because it's all the light armor stuff. Actually, that's interesting. I guess there are four different parts. Right. That'll be useful when I get up to that point. So, okay. Uh, right, let's... Let's pick up Defender of the Faith is what we're going to be doing, but it's going to be en route to the other stuff. So first there, and then south, question mark, question mark, question mark, notice board, question mark, and then we'll hit that and that. Come on, Roach. Come on, Roach, go the right way. A lot of dogs. Oh ho ho! Wa pow! Like a pack of wild dogs. Wow. That was crazy. It's amazing how effective fire are is against wolves, dogs. I know, I know. But see, they destroyed actual real dogs. Our grilled up some hot dogs. Could be doing that this weekend, man. I just got uh, the new propane tank. The old propane tank had run out, so we got the new propane tank, and we are ready. We are good to go. We'll be grilling on Memorial Day. What the hell's going on here? What did this man do to you? Him? Nothing. Appeared in the village. Looking to trade his ring for some bread. But we've no food. None. Because of the black... Nice. Trampled our fields, raided our granaries, burnt our orchards. So instead of bread, he'll get a noose. Please, good folk, do you not have ears? I did not want this war. I have deserted to go home to my wife and child. Take everything I have, but spare my life. Let him go. Oh, sure. And maybe give him some fixings for the journey. Saddle up a horse for him. Black one showed us no mercy. We show them none in return. I'm telling you to let him go. Tried it the nice way. Gotta try something different. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, 
Oh! Oh! That's... Wow. Thank you. If you had not come... If I'd not come, only one man would have died. Really going back to your wife? Yes. She bore a child just before the war started. A girl. I named her Beatrice after her grandmother. Why? Why did you help me? I hate lynch mobs. Lynch mobs. Nothing good ever comes of them. Now go. Stay off the high roads and give any villages a wide berth until you cross the Aruga. Hut. That was a fatality. I think that's fair to say. I, but it's true. I hate lynch mobs. One of my favorite uh, Shakespeare moments comes in Julius Caesar when um, the uh, people of Rome are looking for one of the people that killed Julius Caesar. And they're looking for a guy named Cinna, who's one of the conspirators. Um, and they come across a guy whose name is Cinna, but he's Cinna the poet. And uh, so they try to kill him. And he's like, no, 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 don't kill me, don't kill me. They're like, his name is Cinna. And he's like, no, I'm Cinna the poet. And they say, oh my god. Sorry, dude. They actually say, I am Cinna the poet. And they say, kill him for his name, kill him for his name. And they string him up. Kill him for his name. That's a lynch mob, people. Also, I gotta repair that. That pickaxe, though. Small blackjack. 30 bludgeon damage, I'll bet. Alright, um, this is great, but I need... I need to repair something. Sixty one per cent. Oh, that's all I can do. Okay. Plus, lynch mobs drop more loot. Yeah, I've read some a couple of interviews with the guy. I actually thought about trying to get him on here. I am going to try to get the CD Project guys on, which I think I mentioned to you guys. Um, and I uh, thought about trying to get him on too. The only reason that I didn't um, is because I don't think he speaks English. And trying to get a translator and stuff like that would be... I don't know. I think that's too much. He's also not a big fan of... Um, he doesn't play video games. He likes the CD Projekt guys. And he thinks it's a good game, but he thinks it's a different thing from the books. He's happy with them, but he's just not, you know... It's not like I'm going to read and be like, Oh, so can you talk a little bit about this? He'd be like, yeah, no. I don't really care. Visit barbers for a shave or a new haircut. Really? You can do barbers? That's really cool. However... Run, Roach. I like his haircut. And that beard has got it going on, so... Oh, <laughs> yeah, Thor. God damn it. Really? Oh my god. I see you, I see you. What the hell is that? Ow.
Damn it. That tail, though. God, oh, come on, I had it. God damn it. That sucks. I had it. Uh, that's really annoying. Bah. Had that bastard. Yeah, I saved I saved before I fought any of the other spiders, but I didn't save after that. It's annoying. Let's see if R does any better. I really wish I don't understand why I'm not allowed. Come on. All right, there's the big guy. I was able to save the game. Good. It gave time to get a haircut. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. What you want to do is challenge this guy from the front. You definitely want to challenge this guy from the front. What? What the? Wow, that charge, man. Wow. That is... That is a powerful freaking charge. All right, well, I saved after those other guys, so. Man, that is rough. I thought I had him, too. I thought I like he, I thought he might hit me, but, like, like you are dead. What's up, Riddler?
The stunning did seem to help. Damn it. Damn, Dan. Damn it. Wow. Wow. That was rough. That right there, people, was no joke. Man. Yeah, I was drunk for a minute. Also, I used up a bunch of my consumables, too. That was no joke. Now I have the best of your entry, and I can actually find out what would have been the right way to take them on. <laughs> that better have been worth it. What is that thing? It's like some kind of bizarre... The first guys were not bad, but the freaking tail, man. Okay. Alright, let's take a look at the bestiary. Whoops. Insectoids. Okay. Endriga warriors. Scared of these Endrigas, are you? Just wait till you see the warriors. Let's do the workers first. I thought the workers were harmless. I thought wrong. Worker Jane the Gimp, Trapper. Jen the Gimp. Workers are the most numerous and thus the most frequently encountered cast, cast of Endriga. Within the colony, their duty lies in building nests and cocoons, acquiring food and caring for eggs and larvae. When threatened, they will summon warriors to aid them, yet if forced to defend themselves, they will, and do so surprisingly well. Golden Oriole Potion and Insectoid Oil. Okay. Scared of these Endrigas, are you? Just wait till you see the warriors. Claus Altman, Forrester. Endless waves of Endriga workers are enough to overcome most attackers. But when confronting more dangerous foes, Endriga colonies unleash their larger, stronger members, the so-called warriors. This cast lives only to fight and gets ample opportunity to do so while defending the colony's borders or conquering new territory. All right. So if I need the oil, now I actually know. Don't like all those consumables that it used, though. But... Red Powdered Pearl Manuscript Page Dragon's Dream. What is Dragon's Dream? Ooh, Lesser Sfarog Runestone. Armor Piercing! <gasps> oh, nice! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And knowing is half the battle. <laughs> Yes, indeed.
bombs. Releases a cloud of gas that explodes when ignited. Oh, yeah. Craft it. Hell yeah. Nice. Okay. So we've got Salmon, Dancing Star. Three hundred fire damage. That's better than Dancing Star. I guess I'll hold on to this, but I can use that. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Vulnerable insecticide. Didn't make it, huh, boss? Okay. And a hatchet. Alrighty. Where to now? Now we're gonna go down to there. Let's pick it up, Roach. The Roachest with the Mochest right Faster. here. Like, on horse, he's just so OP. If he stays on his horse, man, he could do so much damage. Greater Glyph of Axel in Beast Clothing? What is the Greater Glyph of Axel? 10% Axel sign intensity. Ooh, I can put it here, can I? Axie, I should say. Yes. Love it. Love and loving it. Okay. They entered the hut, his hut, and began to search. First they told... Oh, I already read this one. Man, I already got these. I've read this book. Sucks, man. I read it already. Okay. Killing a giant scorpion in a world of fantasy and magic with insecticide is like killing an Efreet in Final Fantasy with a fire truck. <laughs> well, I mean, it's... It, listen. It's insecticide, I guess, but it's like... It's, it's magical insecticide, you know what I mean? It's not quite the same thing. If you would, please. Hi! No, 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 no! God damn it. Son of a... Smart guy. Come on now. Bastard. If we can shoot your bows at me. Alchemy paste. More alchemy paste. And a cuckoo clock, apparently. Would rather have arachnicide. Probably, right? 
Okay. Okay, good. Now we're going to hit this. Then this question mark, and then the two parts of the quest, and then... Yeah, that's what I thought. Then we will wrap up for the evening. Perfect. I took an arrow to the knee. I did, actually. I used to be an awesome witcher, and then... That arrow to the knee, though. I wonder if there's any memes in here that are going to take off like that. Like the... Was it the sweet cakes thing in Skyrim? Sweet cakes. Hello? Tis as though the heavens sent ye. Damn sickness. You ain't safe lest you got a Gabrielle. The auto crank one handed Gabrielle. They're cooking meth. Sweet rolls, yeah. The first shot and the last word. Crossbows, huh? Show me what you got. Let me have a look at your stock. That's from something else, right there. Cavalry boots. Trousers already have that. Ooh. Hunter's gauntlets. We have those. Hunter's boots. I have those too. Alright. Rusty hammerhead. Okay. So first of all, I've got those. But it's about crafting, too. First of all, let me sell some of this stuff. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need this. Don't need this. Uh, don't need this. 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 Uh, let's see. I know, I wondered about that too, Varney. Like, also, wouldn't you think just, like, the thing banging repeatedly against the horse's side? Wouldn't the horse, like, afterwards, while, just be like, Yo, can you get this griffin's head off my ass? <laughs> I just... I don't know, man. I'm not sure about that. Okay, repair. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. First, I want to remove the upgrade, though. That's fine. That's fine. Now, I want to repair this. Pair all is 137. Make it so. Nice. Nice. So long. That's odd. So long. Okay. Now, I would like... Armor piercing! Here we go. Cool, alright. Alright. After being recruited by Professor Slavko Adamstein to join his research group, I began to study the Griffin School of Witchers. My base of operations is the tomb under the Crookback Hills. The professor claimed this was the final resting place for one of the Griffins and wished to find a way inside it. I quickly discovered a range of places of interest, each marked with a pictogram in the shape of a Griffin School Witcher medallion. Mark these points on this map. Edwin Grelov, adjunct in natural history at Oxenford Academy. I think this is the medium set, if I'm not mistaken. I want to focus more on the light set, but I might still, you know, get it if I can. Plowing syphilitic son of a poxy whore. I lost the first map I prepared for Professor Edemstein in a game of Gwent. I must now return to my base camp near the tomb under Crookback Hills and start anew. Meanwhile, I will mark further points of interest on this map. Edwin Greyloff, adjunct of natural history at Oxenford Academy. Good job in losing that stuff, genius. Oh, you mean uh, Shadowrun Returns Dragonfall? You mean Shadowrun Returns Dragonfall? He doesn't mean Shadowfall. He means Shadowrun Returns Dragonfall. Yeah, man. That that uh, that game is legit. That game is super, super legit. 
It's good stuff. Oh, look at this! That's actually closer. Level 11, that's closer. Oh, oh, just the uh, vanilla Shadowrun? Okay, that's still amazing. Once you get through that, man, Dragonfall is even better. That's really good. Uh, Shadowrun uh, Returns is really good by itself, Dead Man Switch. But uh, Dragonfall is even better. So, yeah, it's an awesome game. I played like a uh, shaman, so that was good too. But uh, Street Samurai is good stuff from what I've heard. An amulet, bazaar, some tortoise shells. What else you have on offer? Corpse teeth and kidney stones. Tried remedies for trying times. More repair kits. More infantry. Gwent card. Dragon Hunter. That sounds awesome. Saddlebags. I already have that stuff. Silver Sapphire Ring. Gold Ruby Ring. Silver Emerald Ring. Okay. Cool. Lovely. So long. I think we'll go rifle build. Nice. Yeah, I was a um I think I was a sniper rifle. Good. I, tell ya. I think I was a sniper rifle expert. Oh. I don't actually remember, but Okay, notice board. Quiet after dark, take heed not to wander about after dark nor make an unnecessary racket. Keep your windows covered if you burn a candle and don't throw any damp branches likely to smoke into the fire. We have enough trouble in the village without attracting more, Elderman. We'll do any job looking for work. We'll do any job for a bowl of soup or scrap of bread. I've done a bit of coopering and carpeting and have my own tools. Bolo. Old Millie's gone bad. Old Millie's lost whatever wits he had left, running around the yard and nothing but his nighties, yelling horrible lunities and smearing mud pies down even walks close to the fence. Best avoid his place, especially if you've a friendly lo freshly laundered dress on. Pantry's been robbed. The thief who's nipping goods out of my pantry as soon as I put them here. That sausage you took last week, I prepared it especially for you. From the bloated carcass of a mare I found in the muck. Rotten eggs and a handful of larvae. I then spat in it for seasoning and then added, added some other highly personal ingredients. I hope you ate your fill, you scurvy rogue Swenlob. Oh, God. Repent. The ladies of the wood are unhappy, so the trees whisper. The offerings we make are not enough. We pray too seldom and too often we take their name in vain. Mend your ways, good folk. Show contrition and fervor in your faith. For if the ladies too abandon us, we'll all perish in this forsaken bog. Yeah, decking, I don't feel like decking got better in Dragonfall, but I still don't feel like decking is that viable, honestly. Contract, Jenny of the Woods. I'm still Jenny of the Woods. Hark, some devil juice taken hold of our field, something neither spirit nor phantom. Old Will swears in his mother's grave it's like to be Jenny of the Woods. Whether it is or it ain't, be careful and don't go out in the fields alone, and most certainly not without scythe or rake in hand. But if you have the courage to drive the foul thing off, you'll receive a handsome reward. Bolko, uh, Bolko Elderman of Midcopes. Contract, Jenny of the Woods. Okay. Shrieker contract's probably closer, but that's good to know. Man, so many quests. Yes, Karma into Charisma is really useful. I, I mean, I always play games like that, frankly. I always try to do mega, mega, mega amounts of Charisma, because I always want to be able to, like, win a lot of things without even doing a fight if I can avoid them. So I love doing that. In Arcanum, I was able to do that, where I was able to talk the final dude out of doing what it was that he wanted to do. Oh, God, all this question marks. Oh, well. That's okay. I'll do those later. But right now, I'm going to hit up... Man, so many things. All right, I'm going to hit up this, this, and this. So to speak, yeah. Sort of like forced charisma. It's still not clear to me if there's any sort of downside to using it. Like, if someone, if you use it, like if it causes problems. There was one thing I saw that said there was a point in delusion. Come on, bro. It may have something to do with an ability adjustment that I don't fully follow yet. But, okay. Uh, Faster. Let's cut across country. Come 
water hag. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, look at the mud! That thing is uh, terrible looking. Wow, you're you're really awful. I don't even. Enhanced insectoid oil. Nice. I could definitely use enhanced insectoid oil based on what I just fought. Also, that trapper's boots might be good. Cavalry boots. Let's see. 1% resistance to piercing, bludgeoning, 2% to slashing, 2% to burning. But it's slotted, so... It's actually better, I think. Well... Better armor, slightly better resistance. Yeah, I still think it's better. It worked. It worked, okay. I kind of remember to use bombs more, too. I haven't been doing enough of that. Whoops. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll take care of the best here in a minute. Um, what was that thing? Dragon something or other? This stuff. Insect oil, that's what it was. Uh, let's see. I would need Randogrin, Hornwort, Insectoid oil, Integrated Heart and Alchemy ingredient. Okay, I still need Insectoid oil. I want to be able to use that for later since I understand how the potions work now. they go away. So, do do you, when you meditate, do you get back, I know you get back bombs when you meditate once you've crafted them. If you meditate, do you also get back potions and oils? Do you get back potions and oils when you meditate? And that's good to know about the oils, actually, in general. But is that the case? Hag tooth. What do you mean you never run out of oils? I mean, what does that mean, though? So if I use this oil now... Oh, oh. Oh. So... Okay. So you never run out of it. So okay. It's just a number of hits that it uses. Okay. That's cool. So there's no All right. Well, then I should be making more oils then. Cursed oil. Sectoid oil. 
Necrophage oil. Okay, I need to get more of those ingredients then. Yeah, I need to get more of those ingredients. I didn't realize that. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Alright, in that case... Actually, you know what I should have done? Should have had the tawny oil. Swallow actually does quite a bit. Yeah, I yeah. I was just thinking that burner. That's such a cool idea, actually. Alright. So let's hit this one up next. Whoa, we got a ship. Got us a like a fishing boat or something out there. It's like the part where you're chasing uh, the Nazgul are chasing him. Oh god. Okay, what is it that uses? Goddamn Endrigal warriors already. I don't have your insectoid oil, damn it. I know you're upset, Roach. How do I use, uh... How do I use a bomb? Someone set us up the bomb. How do I use a bomb? How do I use that bomb? Hey, what's up, Dark Lord? How do I... So, how do I use the bomb? Oh, God. Oh, that's right, that's right. God damn it. That was highly effective. Super effective. How about Dragon's Dream? Nice throw. What?
Damn it, damn it, damn it. What? God. Got poisoned. God damn it. Yeah, he's gonna be tough. He's gonna be tough. Because I can't, I haven't been able to f uh, find the stuff I need for Insecto Doyle yet. I do, I call it a tactical nuke. I'd like to. Let's laser sight it. Screw my immersion. Nuke this thing. <laughs> nuke this thing from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Hey -ya, hey -ya, hey -ya, hey -ya, hey -ya. Oh, actually, this is a. Uh... I just realized that that wasn't just a question mark quest. That was actually my set quest. Ah. That's unfortunate. Dodge more, you scrub. Yeah, man, I mean... You speak the truth. Why is his... Why are his throws so terrible? That got his attention. Okay, how about some Dragon Star, huh? Well, I can increase my two. Wow. Your throws absolutely suck, Geralt. Happened to being stunned. He's like, oh, I'm stunned. If by stunned you mean not really. I'm gonna die. Alright, sounds good. Bye, Baron. Wow. That poison is no joke. The bomb will land where the cursor is. Okay. Man, the poison is OP, people. Poison is real. Poison is real.
four damage a pop is not going to get it done. Where else can I go that would do the job? Could I get like a tactical advantage on this dude? Yeah, I know, but I don't want to spend the whole time like. one. That's not what I meant to do. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, did I trigger it? Did I trigger it? There you go. Yeah. Oh my god, you can do that? Guys, I don't know if you know this, but putting repairing a damaged shrine immediately eliminates the enemy. I just wanted you guys to know. All I had to do was lift it up, and the guy's like, ah, phew. So I wasn't sure if you guys were, aware, guys were aware of that, but, like, that's the case. You can actually just, in case you ever were like, well, how do I defeat this thing? All you have to do is lift a uh, wooden statue in place, and automatically it just eliminates the guy. So it's just a little witcher, it's a little inside witcher trick for you guys. The little Witcher trick. Okay, last one I want to do is that one. You don't get the looter experience. What? Yeah, I got the experience. I just got the experience. I got experience for doing it. As far as the loot's concerned, the loot would just be off of that thing, which I don't care about. But no, I did. I got the experience. It showed me. Reported, Red Lear. It would have dropped some stuff for insectoid oil? Oh. Well, you know what? Listen, Parker, you know, you're gonna make an omelet. You know, you're gonna break a few eggs. A few eggs. <laughs> yeah, our tactics. Here's what I know. I know that my guy's alive, and I repaired yet another one of the shrines. That's what I know. That's my information. That's what it is that I'm facing. Well, that too. Break a few legs. No, I meant to say eggs. Eggs, legs. Oh, God, a griffin. Hi. It's not a time to slow down. Not a time to slow down. Oh, my God. 
run like the freaking wind. Ghouls. And where there's ghouls, there's usually corpses. Oh crap. Oh my god, level 22. No! Uh, yes, yes, Test Force. Uh, god damn it. I'm not fighting the Griffin. Kidding me? I'm just running to repair that shrine, man. That's my last job for today. Is repairing that shrine. Alright, so I gotta go, first of all. We got the griffin going on. Right, let's build up the horse's stamina. And good. There's the griffin. Same guy didn't think last time. the hell across town. Avoid that village altogether. Eyes on the prize, man. Hi. Slow now. Woo! Brave Sir Harvin ran away. You the ones destroying shrines all over Valen? What's that got to do with you? What's it got to do with you? We are the Heralds of Lightning. Heavy drops from leaden clouds. Unleashed, the Lightning's name shall be Overman. What? The locals claim the gods are unhappy. No fear of their wrath. The wrath of the gods? The gods are dead. We but dispose of their rotting remains, the dying embers of superstition that harms. Great. Need a favor, though. You gotta clean up after yourselves here. Then go back to wherever you came from. Dispose of those embers there. Religion is the opiate of the masses. The gods are dead. Thus speaks Master Friedrich of Oxenfurt. Common folk fear religion and the priests, not the gods. And this fear enslaves us in fetters of ignorance. We must forge a new morality, or rid ourselves of morality altogether. Net law. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Amusing as this little show is, I'm getting bored. Leave, and don't come back. Or what? Or I'll tell on you to the headmistress. Repression! Attack the system's lackey! displayed in the Well... It could be quite profitable. Shit. Double punch. Great communists. Yep. That's what you get. Do I have Trekker's gauntlets? I think I had Trekker's boots. Yeah, that's not as good, but that might be as good. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, Trekker's gauntlets, baby. 
There you go. Random people attack this heavily armed mercenary. Well, I mean, you know, I'm a witcher, so... Wait. Oh, for a minute I thought I had literally punched his head off, and I was like, that's... Problematic. All right. <laughs> Daryl doesn't live and let live policy regarding the gods and their worshippers. If they don't bother him, he returns the favor. Sadly, not everyone follows this sage precept. Uh, a distraught woman in Velen informed him someone had been destroying the shrines that dot that region's roadsides. She begged him to repair the damage and, if possible, punish those responsible. Though he did not share the woman's devotion or outrage at the sacrilege, he decided to help all the same. While following the trail of damaged holy sites, Geralt encountered a group of young men who, he learned, were students at Oxenford Academy. Influenced by some radical philosopher, whose name was probably Carliford Marxiford, they had taken up arms in the battle against religion. As is often the case with students, what began as a measured discussion of worldviews ended in a brawl. Yeah, so it must have been designed for it not to be killed. Made sense. Karate Tiger? <laughs> exactly, Klopp. Oh, that's what I'm hoping to go see very soon, Shadow. Possibly tomorrow. Exactly what Burner said. Either probably Avengers first, but I do want to see Mad Max also. Okay. So let's see. Secondary quests. We got all these. Butcher contracts. This is probably not until level 8, which means I'm a little bit light for that. Treasure hunts a little bit light for this. So the next one, besides doing all the question marks, the next one is going to be, I think, actually hunting a witch, probably? Mm. Yeah, probably that one. Okay. So next time when we start, I'll be going up there. And then doing all of these. <laughs> da -da 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 -da, all the way up to mid-cups. Before I leave, though, Fool's Parsley. I think I found any of those Devil's Puffballs that they were talking about as being good against, um, I think it was Spectres, maybe? So I don't think I found that yet. There's so many flowers in this world. And I'm definitely going to have to get more of those oils. Super useful to know about those. Oh, really? I got the impression that you didn't have to know all that information, but... Okay, let's see. Let's, uh... Okay, that works. Nice. Um, probably not, Lego, because I don't think I've gone to... I've just been into basically a couple of villages and, like, one smaller place, like the Barrens area, but that's not a large city city, so... I would say probably not. That will await me for later. All right, folks. Um, I am going to uh, call it there for tonight. This is a lot of fun, though. I had a good time. I made uh, some serious progress in the game and elsewhere. So this was a good time. Um, but before I do that, just a couple of reminders here. First of all, again, if you haven't done so already, mark your calendars for ARVCON coming up Friday and Saturday to benefit charity. A lot of good stuff coming for that. So definitely mark your calendars for that. I will be at you. I definitely won't be streaming tomorrow. I could stream on Monday, but I doubt it. My best guess is that I'll be back at you on Tuesday for my normal stream when we will have day five of The Witcher as we continue on. Um, I am going to be looking to try to get the guys for my Thursday stream, either for Icewind Dale, possibly for the guys, or um, possibly Series Runner for Divinity Original Sin. We'll see, but if not, then obviously I'll keep going on The Witcher. And then again, Friday, Saturday is the big ARVCON, so please don't forget about that. If you like what you saw and heard and you were new to the stream, please make sure to follow. Um, you can do that, uh, as you know, um, by just clicking 
clicking that button below the window. Obviously, follow all the things. That's much appreciated. If you've been around for a while and you like the stream and want to show even more support, this is the way to do it right here. That Patreon is at 23 patrons, $210.01 per month. That's really awesome. I really appreciate it. And that's going to make it um, that much easier to be able to sell things to Twitch um, as we move towards partnership. But um, obviously, any help that you guys are able to give is much appreciated. Um, not necessary, obviously, just you guys being here is the important thing. But if you're able to do that, of course, that's always appreciated as well. Now, with that, we're going to do a couple of giveaways here. Or do, I should say, one giveaway and one raid. Let me recorrect that. Uh, so, giveaway stuff is going to be like this. I have a choice of one of three games tonight. Uh, choice number one is going to come to you from... Let's change this up a little bit. So choice number one is going to come to you from uh, Messiah DMR, and it is Analog, a hate story, hate plus. And hate story and hate plus and the soundtrack. So basically it's Analog, a hate story, the pack, both Analog and the sequel. So those will be coming together as one package. So Analog, a hate story that comes to you from Messiah. Choice number two will come to you from, let's say... Shadowed Mage, and we'll say Cairo. Choice number two, Shadowed Mage Cairo. That's K-A-I-R-O. That's choice number two. And choice number three is going to come to you courtesy of, uh, let's see. Uh, let's make it from Smacky Butts. And it's Wise, the Oath and Felgana. So Wise, the Oath and Felgana. That's one that I haven't tried to give away. Smacky Butts, Wise, the Oath and Felgana. So again, from Messiah, Analog, A Hate Story, and Hate Plus... That's choice number one if you win tonight. Choice number two from Shadowed Mage is Cairo, K-A-I-R-O, Cairo. And choice number three from Smacky Butts is Wise, the Oath in Felgana. Um, and the giveaway is going to be, let's see. Um... There it is. Please type Gwent Master to enter the giveaway. Gwent Master. If you're interested in winning one of those three games, please type in the word Gwent Master. And uh, as you guys do that, I'm going to check and see who we are going to raid for today. Please do not enter unless you are interested in winning. So please do not enter unless you are interested in winning. Why is the oath in Felgana? That's F-E-L-G-H-A-N-A. -E Felgana. I want the question mark. Why is the oath in Felgana? Again, if you guys are interested, please type in one of those three. What's up, Edgy? Oh, eyes, not Y. Sorry, eyes. Eyes. The Oath and Fogana. I was in Elegy Game Stream uh, earlier today. He was playing on um, Pokemon, and I guess he had just died or something. And he was really frustrated. So he's just like, um, someone, he said the name, he said the word Mana. And I guess it's supposed to be Muna. And he's like, no, it's a fictional universe. I'll call it exactly as I want. It's goddamn Muna. <laughs> it's really funny. It's just like so frustrated. Um, let's see. That's a possibility. Okay, no, I'm not going to do that. All right. Okay. I have not seen Forensic Files. All right, good. I know who we're going to raid. Last call here. Last call, last call. 
Last call. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Last call. Ladies and germs. Last call if you were interested in winning one of those three games. Yeah, I am up later than normal. I wanted to get finished up, but, you know, whatever. It's still my vacation, and it's uh, Saturday. You know, Sunday tomorrow, so I'm cool. I'm cool. That's how I see it. You let me stare at the screen. We're the good old boys. You're the good old boys. Well, who are they? Uh, love me some Blues Brothers. All right. Uh, okay, and the winner. Glob. Glob Monkey, who has contributed to this stream before as well. Of course, as usual, hacks, rigged, rigged hacks, as per usual. But congrats, Glob. Woo! What's it going to be, Glob? What'd you like? I have heard of the Witcher board game. Yes, Tom. I haven't played it. I think I... That's not true. I played a little bit of the Witcher board game on, um, on Android. I played a little bit of it on Android, and uh, it's a little confusing, I found. Um, but I did play a little bit of it on Android. Give me wise. Give me wise. Alrighty. Let me do that. Hold on a second. Of course, now I have to remember. Are you... Uh, you're the Justin Bieber guy, right? Are you the Justin Bieber guy? Am I right about that, Glob? You're one of these people that uses different names, of course, so, you know. It's always had to be clear. You're, you're that guy, though, right? Grumble, grumble. I mean, eyes. God damn it. Wise eyes. One of those things. Or did you change your name again? Did you change your name again? Your favorite dad. D I should not give you. I should not give you this game just for having that name, Glob. All right, congratulations. Make sure to thank Smacky Butts when you see him as well. Wise, or sorry, Eyes, the Oath in Felgana. And it is on its way to you, sir. Congratulations. There we go. Cool. So thank you as always to my wonderful, wonderful viewers who make that possible. <laughs> there you go. There you go, absolutely. All right, guys, so um, that's going to do it for me for tonight. Again, I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. Might stream Monday, but I don't think so. I'd put the chances at, like, maybe 25%. Definitely will be back streaming, though, on Tuesday um, for my normal stream in the evening, and you will see me uh, playing The Witcher for that. Then on Thursday will either be more The Witcher or Icewind Dale or uh, Divinity Original Sin, continuing my co-op run with Series Runner, one of those folks. And then remember, next Friday, Saturday, is ArvCon, so please spread the word about that, follow all the things, and do all that good stuff. Um, oh, it's not eyes. It's east. East. Just call it wise. It's wise. Okay, east. Um, we're going to do a raid as well, as we always do. And the raid goes like this. Uh, the Arvanauts have landed. Cool, Edgy. I actually have choice of robots. I think Lord Sloth gave that to me, so I haven't given the way yet. I may give that a try at some point. But So, the Arvanauts have landed. That's Volcania, capital V-O-L-C-A-N-I-A. -A. Um, that is going to be coming up um, for as soon as you hear my audio outro. Again, the key is do not go and do this until you hear my audio outro. But once you hear my audio outro, that's when you're going to go and do the raid. And we're going to continue to get this rep as being the most awesome sauce people when it comes to raiding. Because that's the way I like to roll. You guys are the best. Before we go and do that raid, let me thank all the wonderful people who made this stream possible. Thanks to my mods, to Apples, to Backburner, to Glog, to Shadow, to Thorg. Good to see all of you guys. Best mods on Twitch. Thank you all so much. Much love to the mods. Thanks to my regulars, to IAK. You guys should be following. Really good dude. Thanks to Axeman, Bill. Duty Calls, again, thanks for the support, Duty. Thanks to Parker. Thanks to Edgy Koala. Uh, thanks to uh, Eeyore, who I haven't seen in here for a while. What's up, Eeyore? Thanks to Glob Monkey. Congratulations, Glob. Thanks to J-Dog. Thanks to Lake Plantain. What's up, Lake Plantain? Thanks
Thanks to Laporte, so you guys should be following. Porquitos is awesome too. Uh, thanks to Kuthek. Thanks to Red Sniper. Thanks to Royks. Thanks to Sabotis. Sabotis is cool too, although he never streams anymore, but that's okay. Skin colors. I don't think I've seen you in here before. So if you like what you saw and heard, please make sure to follow. I think I don't think I've seen you in here before. Same for Smooth Gaming. If you liked what you saw and heard, please make sure to follow the stream. Um, but uh, thanks for stopping by regardless. Snacksor. I also don't think I've seen you in here before. So same as the others. If you have been here, welcome back. But if not, welcome in. And I hope you will follow if you like what you saw and heard. Always good to see Strike Ninja, Tom Tom, Topkin, Trepper, Sunday, Varney, and Bacon. Regulars all. You guys are the best. Thank you guys all so much. With that, we're going to go do this raid. Again, do not do this until you hear my audio outro. We are going to go over and hit up a Cadrian. Cadrian is playing Deadlight right now. And the fact that his screen is titled, Go Away, Do Not Come In Here, I mean it. That's what I like to hear. That means we're going to go in there and give him some love. So let's give some love to my friend Okadrian. And uh, yeah, thank you guys all so much. I will catch you all possibly on Monday, but in all likelihood on day five of The Witcher. Please spread the word, follow all the things, support the Patreon, and get ready for RFCon. I love you all. You're all the best. Have a good night. Stood the way your life was bound Did you ever wonder how